I think there's a tendency to to think of sequels as as redos or or do overs, and um, I think of this uh, more as a serialized novel. You know, I think. Um, uh, it's a weird analogy, but you know how uh, supposedly when Charles Dickens published the Pickwick Papers, he, he you know, he put it he put it out as these street broadsheets, uh, chapter by chapter. And I think I kind of think that's what Tony Gilroy's been doing with the Bourne series. He wrote the first three, and now he's done another installment. I mean, in terms of your work, do you kind of refer to the characters in in the other Bournes? Are you conscious of this? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, very much so because specific, but specifically the way Tony's crafted it, the the characters in this film are watching the events of the end of the last film take take place and then reacting to them. So it's a it's it's not um, it's not just a nod to it. It's actually threaded together with it. And a lot of the characters in that film are appear in this one. As I well. mean, is is Born becoming a sort of American takeover of James Bond? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe we needed one of our own. You know, sort of a. a uh, a, a new a super spy for the uh, for the 21st century. You know, in R1, the Secret Service are like the good guys. Right. Whereas the sell, CIA I, is seldom the good guys. I couldn't agree more. I, and I think that and I think that um, Tony, as the as the author who has pulled the thread through all of these, I, Tony is possessed of no small amount of um, of conspiracy. Uh, paranoia, and, and I say that only in the best way. I mean, how close do you think that is to reality? Do you, do you think that uh, well, America I do, works with corporations? Well, I, you know, you do have to, the, the degree to which we're outsourcing and private contracting a lot of what we would traditionally have called our military and defense and uh, research and development work, uh, I don't think there's any doubt that, that, you know, if, I mean, even if you look at things like the Blackwater fiascos and the U.S. military went through in Iraq, or um, you know, the degree to which we've we've started outsourcing to the pharmaceutical companies a lot of the experimental research and development stuff. It's 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 clear that we're we're um, cor corporations with large contracts have a have a voice in the government. I mean, there's a character called Bain, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> there, yeah, there is. Um, is that, is uh, that uh, anti Romney? Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was sort of before he, you know, these things, you, we prepped these things. I, th I, think, I think it was a nice coincidence. You spotted Obama very early on, uh, or relatively early on, just when he was a, a senator. Are you one of those who's now uh, disillusioned? No, I'm not disillusioned with Obama. I think he, I think he remains a deeply um, thoughtful, deeply committed uh, leader who's, I, I think that um, in the balance, he's achieved an enormous amount. I mean, you must get a lot of your your friends and contemporaries, colleagues, saying that they are disillusioned or he hasn't done anything? <clears throat> well, uh, you know, um, without calling people out, I think uh, I would, as clinically as I can observe it, I would say that the, it's interesting to note that the people who are the most disillusioned are the people um, in the wealthiest classes in the U.S. I think there's a perception that there's a perception that a kind of class warfare is starting to be waged um, and some people are taking that personally where whereas I, I just don't think they should um, I think it's a it's what do you a, mean over taxes basically yeah it's a but it's a ludicrously short-sighted read on US history to suggest in any way that that the wealthy in America are being asked to bear an undue burden you know there we're, we're so what you're saying is that actually these are these are wealthy Hollywood types. Yeah. They don't like the taxes. Well, uh, well, but I they in, say, oh, well, he's not been liberal enough. He's no, ac he actually, I, I wouldn't say uh, uh, my friends in the entertainment industry. I would say more my, I, I live in New York, so it's yeah. more my friends in the finance industry, um, th those who get the 15% carried interest tax rates uh, through the hedge funds that they run. I, those are the ones who I think are really are stepping across the line. What about on an area where you've worked a lot and you were at uh, Rio 20 this time around? I mean, the environmental area. Good. What's his report card like there? I, th I think mixed. I think, um, I think, in fairness, I think that with the, with the deck of cards that he was handed, um, he had a, a understandably perhaps some, some things that they felt politically they needed to prioritize uh, in terms of stabilization of the economy. Uh, the, the auto industry, the healthcare issue. Um, there, there's dealing with these wars. There's, there's been a lot to deal with. You think Obama's going to get reelected? I do. Yeah, I do, because I think that um, uh, personally, I just don't think that there's a, 
I don't think there's a, um, I don't think the other side's plans hold up on the math. I just don't think the math works. Okay, two finally totally unrelated questions. One, playing at soccer at Old Trafford. <laughs> I mean, how, how does that fit in with me? I think it was one of the, um, you know, for every person who uh, invades your dinner with a flashbulb, um, you know, th th that's what I would call the quid pro quo of, of fame. The getting invited to play uh, on that pitch with those people, uh, with Roy Keane, like that's, that's, that's a pretty, um, that's a pretty strong trade for anything one might call the downside of being well known. And finally, back to Bourne, you've done this franchise. Uh, movies increasingly are occupied by franchises of one kind or another. We've got Spider Man coming around for a second time. I mean, which is the one that most attracts you? Uh, which would you like to go for? You're waiting for the invitation. To I'm, I'm not rushing to find another. You're uh, not the next Batman. No, 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 I don't know. I, I don't see that happening anytime soon, but uh, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have the chin for Superman, I don't have the cleft. Uh, so I, I, I'm probably done with these for a little bit.